That's not on, is it? It is on. No, you have to be no. careful. Fair warning, at the end of this video, I will be dancing again. If you're a regular viewer, you'll know that I don't dance very often. It's usually for some sort of accomplishment or a milestone moment. Maybe you're saying, it's a good thing you don't dance very often. I know Wendy would agree with you. The reason I'm dancing this time is because I've finally gotten back to the chipping and shredding for all of the storm debris that we had back in February. I had to put all of that on hold for a while so I could help Wendy get her garden ready for spring. I've still got a lot to do out here, but I can finally see light at the end of the tunnel, at least for the high flat ground part of our property, and that feels pretty good. You know, these videos aren't really about animal behavior or best practices for homesteading or even seeing really cool dance moves. They are about sharing genuine passion and maybe encouraging others to engage with their own passions. My mom has come out to see the baby goats and a little bit of our place since the since the storm came through. Indigo is a friendly and a pushy goat. Yes, and she about knocked me over a minute ago, but you know, now I know her tricks. I know your tricks. I do. I know them. Nothing to eat. Yeah. So let me show you where the trees came down. Okay. I have to get away from this animal. Okay. All right, so this stump here was the big cherry tree that fell and hit our house right there on the oh right there on the gosh. corner trees were coming down all over the place out here actually oh <laughs> is <laughs> indigo's not letting you go through <laughs> oh my gosh. okay yeah they're playful <laughs> they were kind of playful Look, following me. oh my gosh that's all right New York. I don't think I know anybody yeah. there. Okay. All right, so this uh, smaller tree here came down almost on top of us oh my when gosh. we were in here with the goats being born right on, you know, Valentine's Day night. Right. Oh my gosh, that must have been really scary and cold. Crazy, crazy, yeah. And noisy. <laughs> I can't believe it is goats. No, no. <laughs> she wants to be the it, She does. She just wants, wants everybody's attention. My, oh, you are silly. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's go this way and see. Go. So oh. this was a, another big cherry tree uh -oh. that fell and damaged the goat shelter. That's not on, is it? It is on. No, you have to no. be careful. Hey, quit. Be nice. Play nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, in you go. So now we had another big tree right here that fell right through our fence and into the neighbor's yard. Yeah. That's so, so sad because that's your new fence. Yep. So trees were coming down all over the place out here. 
Fuck. You're really strong. Yes. Don't knock me over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. Oh. So the little goats can get on every stump except the big one. Really? Yep. And they can't get out, right? Or do you need to put them in before we leave? They've been out before, so oh, they they're, have? they're fine. Okay. What does Valkyrie think about them? Or Indigo, I mean. Indigo, I think Indigo is just kind of like... Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> pretty chill about it, but... Look. They kind of stay together, don't they? Yep. No, don't knock me over. Oh, so here's little Trooper. Oh, oh. Sweet. Not quite so little anymore, but still, still pretty cute. Look at the camera. Got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a sweetie. Aren't you so nice. Look at that goat. Yeah, and the goat is kind of being silly. Very strong too. Yep. Look at that baby when looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're talking about you. Look at his little tail. Oh, so so cuddly. Yeah. He's so cuddly. They're soft and very friendly. Heart's just beating. Mm -hmm. So soft. Oh, here comes the other one. Let's pick this one up. Here you go. Okay. Hey, Mommy. Uh oh. Well, don't jump on me. Sienna has learned that trick. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's a spunky little. Oh my god. You go, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see who you are. Look at you. Oh, she's got blue eyes. Yep. Blue eyes. Very pretty goat. I love her markings. She's like posing for the camera. Mm -hmm. Are you posing? Oh, oh. So sweet. You guys are hairy. You're, you're so hairy. This is not electric, right? No, no, just regular fence. Hi. Hi. Striker is the most friendly. This one? Yep. Yep. Yeah, and you bite. Well, you probably don't bite, bite. Hi. I'm trying to pet you. <laughs> Hi. I don't see lightning bug come over at the same time very no often, way? so that's a... Lightning. Pretty nice. You're silly. Hi, come here. I know. <laughs> Are you being a little jealous or what? Huh? What? Just want all the attention. Yeah. That's what the goats want. Look how long their hair got. Yep. They're much different than when you first saw them. Exactly. So when was the last time you saw these goats? Was it when we brought them over in the car when we picked yes, them up? Yes, because I didn't come out at Christmas, and that was the last time I was here. Yeah. So. Yeah, we just met at that parking lot right. on the on the way from picking them up. Yep. And you were just little guys. He's a silly goat, just sticking his nose around, and he goes, "Maybe I'd like some of that chicken stuff." <laughs> Would you like some chicken feed? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, well, I'll let you hold the bucket. Okay. You just dump it right on them? Yep, just dump it right on in there. Okay, here you go, guys. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> And that was just weeds, right? Just weeds, some eggshells, and... I saw the eggshell. Yeah.
some you know, kitchen scraps. Some kitchen scraps in there too. Which which rooster's in charge? We've got a few of them in there, and they're getting along, which is good. Oh, really? Which is good, yeah. That doesn't usually happen, right? Didn't happen the first time we had multiple yeah. roosters. And is that a rooster? Yep. yep. That is a funny looking one. Yeah, that's that's Wally. Wally. So you just name the roosters, and that's all. No, certain chickens get names. Okay. A lot of them don't have names. Too many. To, well, in the beginning, they all had names, yeah, but not yeah. now. So this looks like it. The storm didn't get too bad. There's holes in every single panel of that roof. Really? Yeah. That's too bad. Other big trees fell down. Yep. How's the yep. Uh, valley? Down I haven't even done anything down there yet. Oh, that's yeah. okay. Do you, want, do you want to leave this here or? Yeah, yeah we'll just leave it right, uh, right here. It's fine. We can just go see what it looks like down there anyway. Sure. It's a little different when you see it in person. Oh my goodness. Look at the split. Yep. Can you see it? Yep. Oh gosh. That is gonna be forever. It'll take a while. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Kind of opened up the sunlight. Yeah, there will be a little more sunlight coming in. Mm -hmm. Wow. Some of those were pretty substantial mm -hmm. that broke off. Mm -hmm. So was it mostly the ice that weighted them down or wind or the combination? It was the weight of the ice that really did most of the damage. <laughs> I love the sounds they make. So this is kind of a strange occurrence. One of our quail laid an egg without any shell. After doing a little internet research, it could be that they're not getting enough calcium. So I'll be mixing in a little bit of uh, oyster shells with their feed. We've had some warmer weather lately, but by no means would I call it hot. Sometimes hot weather can be a factor in quail laying eggs without any shells. All of our quail are pretty young and they're just starting to lay eggs. So more likely than not, it just might be a bird that isn't fully developed yet, but it certainly doesn't hurt to supplement them with a little extra calcium. Here's something else that's new. I've set up this seven gallon water container for easy water filling. 